test. Ça. Hello guys. Uh, we are tonight presenting City Jams, our newest party in Lisbon. Uh, is a party dedicated to the UK garage sounds, and uh, yes, we want to um, to show new music to the city. Uh, new, not a new style, but a new style for many. Uh, it's a, ve a very popular genre of music in the UK back in the 90s. Uh, it was born there, and yeah, we want to to promote it here. So we started this uh, this small project. Uh, we did three parties already. Um, uh, we had guest DJs as uh, Dr. Banana, that played here actually too. Um, and uh, Arts Power Productions, a legend of dubstep and garage, uh, and Oli Rent. And our next party is this Saturday, so that's why we are here. And um, I brought with me Joe Dillon. And uh, he's going to he's going to play in the party too, together with uh, Violet. And uh, yeah, so um, I'm going to ask a few, a few questions to Joe. He's uh, he's running a really nice label called uh, Velt Discos. And yeah, I wanted to ask uh, Joe more about it. And uh, and how, how, and also how you feel about the the UK garage scene there in the UK, uh, and also here in Portugal nowadays, um, yeah. Thanks, Miguel. Um, yeah, um, I'm, I would preface this by saying I'm not an authority on UK Garage, but I guess it's been um, around for me since when it started, mainly because at the time I was watching uh, Top of the Pops which was a Friday night TV show in the UK um, on BBC One, like the charts for the week. And when UK Garage started making it through into, into the mainstream charts, obviously I would see it on Top of the Pops, so like Artful Dodger, Sweet Female Attitude, all of that. I have to say at the time I was, what, like 14, 15 years old and I wasn't really into it. It was when I was, <laughs> I was kind of transitioning into being into like indie and Radiohead. So you can imagine that like Craig David wasn't really top of my list at the time, but um, obviously I've come back around to it later in life and really like the proper kind of re-entry into UK Garage for me happened around about 2010 in London. So I was going out to more kind of like house, tech house parties. And at that time, UK Garage suddenly kind of blew up within that scene that I was going to. Um, so people would be mixing in with, uh, you know, like Perlon and Playhouse Records, and you would get like MJ Cole Records, Anthill Mob. Um, and so, yeah, that's my kind of exposure to it. I've not become any sort of completist or archivist of UK Garage, but I've got like a, I've got a cube of UK Garage records at home. I've brought some of them with me today and I'll bring more on, uh, on Saturday. Um, here in Lisbon or in Portugal, it's difficult to say. I, I mean, I've been living here for eight years now and most of my experience of playing UK Garage here is that people often look a little bit confused or baffled by it. I don't think it's, I, you can tell me actually whether it really had like much expression here when it first came out, but it seems like for many people here it is quite an unusual sound. But for me, I think UK Garage is kind of irresistible. Once you hear it, once you feel it, um, it's a very immediate, accessible form of dance music. And it's good for dancing too, for moving too. So usually when I play it, even if people are not sure at first, they'll kind of get into it. Um, it's, yeah. And obviously it has a big pop influence as well. So that always, that always helps with reaching a, a wider audience. Maybe you can tell me about UK Garage in Portugal from your perspective. I'm curious. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's good that you tell uh, tell me that. That's that's why uh, that's the reason why we created City Jams to to bring more of this sound to the city because we feel a lot of people like the music music wise, but they know is what exactly it is, you know. So that's more about that. And um, it's funny that you say that too because uh, we it's uh, for us is. We are inviting DJs that are, don't play Garage usually. So it's kind of a challenge to these DJs when they come to City Jams. Uh, so we want to do this more and more. So in this case, uh, with you and Violet, 
uh, normally you don't play so often this song so you're going to bring your dusty records <laughs> and it's kind of a challenge for uh, for DJs like you so it can be also positive and and funny you know so that's why and uh, yeah I wanted to ask if you in, in Velt discos you um, you're planning to to release some garage too or um, and and also uh, what artists are are in the label uh, do you have local local artists too Yeah, the point about playing UK Garage, it's funny, like I almost always take a couple of UK Garage tracks with me or records with me when I when I play or on the USB. Um, but usually it's kind of woven into something that's more broad ranging. So yeah, it's kind of, I'm kind of interested in playing a lot more at this party, but not only. Like if, for me, if I'm going out, I don't just want to hear one thing for two, three hours or even longer. So for part of the challenge for me this week is, yeah playing a lot more UK Garage, but also still keeping some kind of variation in there. And on that on that point for my label, I haven't released any like, you know, classic style UK Garage, but I feel like the music I'm releasing does kind of touch on that style sometimes. So for example, the release earlier this year by a guy called Velvet Velour. Yeah. Um, he's actually living in Lisbon now. Uh, that release has a track on it, which is quite, um, quite garagey, quite, it's, I mean, it's kind of tech housey, but it's quite garagey. And he's actually made much more garagey tunes, which have been out on uh, Scratch Discs, which is actually one of uh, Dr. Banana's labels, yeah. for example. And then coming up, um, I have a release, not the next one, but the one after that, uh, will be by a Indian producer called Rafiki. And he's made a EP, which is fully influenced by UK based music and UK sounds. In fact, one of the tracks is called The London Sound. And so when that comes out, which should be early next year, that will be a very like interesting kind of uh, take on UK music. As for local artists on the label, uh, haven't had any yet, but in the future, uh, I'm going to be releasing an EP by a local artist called Yo, who you probably know from Extended Records. Uh, and I might even play a track by him today or on Saturday. Um, and you know, he also is really influenced by UK sounds. Um, he uses a lot of kind of rave UK bass signifiers in his music. And so, yeah, we've been putting together an EP, which again will be out next year sometime. Um, one of the tracks on there is actually, it's actually pretty garagey. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, um, I had a listen in uh, Velt Discos. Uh, not all of the stuff, but most of the stuff. And I realized you're, it's very diverse. Um, and you, have, uh, you always have this touch of breaks and UK sounds on, on it. So it's uh, not the classic sound of garage, but a bit, yeah. So um, yeah, and also what you say is uh, I feel I feel that a lot. The, when I go out, I don't want to listen one specific genre for the whole night. So that's why in City Jams we don't only play the classic garage sound. You know, we we for example in last City Jams we invited Our Spar Productions, which is much more for dubstep. He was one of the creators of uh, of dubstep. So he played a lot of bass music and uh, it was very very diverse nights. And we, we many times we go to a lot of garage house, uh, proper classic house too, you know, because UK garage comes from classic house. So it makes sense, you know, it's like you're doing a house music party and not going to disco sometimes, you know, uh, it's, it's always good when you go to the roots. Yeah, so um, yeah. Yeah, just I just thought I'd mention that um, one of the coolest things I saw this year at Dimensions Festival back in September in Croatia, they usually program one of the evenings on entirely as kind of UK garage like orientated. But within that, there's there's always kind of like offshoots into into house and tech house and other things. And I saw Eliza Rose play, who at the, at the time she got number one in the UK on that day when she was playing. And her set was great because yes, yeah, she was playing a lot of UK garage stuff, but she was also mixing it in with stuff that's like a tune, Baddest of the Mall, like this kind of more modern, uh, contemporary house pop sound. So, um, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm excited to try and like, explore that um, at the weekend. <laughs> cool, cool. Uh, yeah, thanks a lot, Joe, for coming. Yeah, and for me, it's a pleasure to be here again. And uh, yes, you guys on the on Saturday, you are all invited. Uh, the event is in a resident advisor. Uh, you can check all the info there. And yeah, Violet is playing with us. She's a great local DJ. Probably you know her. And yeah, thanks a lot, guys.
it and try to find some sweet. Wanna be the first to run tail. You took my virginity, but I'm gone. Mama always warned me about boys like you. She said that all you wanna do is run over me like shoes and take and take me to the crib and try to find some sweet. Wanna be the first to run tail. You took my virginity, but I'm gone. I'm gonna hold out. I'm gonna hold out.